Hey, this is Tom Jacobs from tdjacobs.com. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and an energy worker and also a channel. And at TD Jacobs, um, there are lots of tools to help you uh, in whatever phase of evolution you find yourself in. Astrology, channeling, meditation, energy work tools, program crystals, books, all kinds of things. Including several resources on Chiron, the Chiron audio course, and the book, Chiron 2012 in the Aquarian Age, the key and how to use it, and also the new Chiron natal report, which will take you through your own placement, how sign aspect, transit progressions. Um, this video is on natal Chiron in the fifth house. And um, first, let me just mention there are two previous videos, the Chiron overview and also Chiron and energy management that are in this series. If you look for the playlist, Chiron playlist, there are seven or eight playlists right now, uh, and look for the Chiron one. You'll see all the houses that are included so far and also those two videos. Um, and one of the major points, you might want to watch the first video before you watch this if you haven't seen it or aren't familiar with how I deal with Chiron. Uh, I do it in a unique way. I approach Chiron in a, in, a, in a different way than most people. I look at it as the energy antenna within your consciousness. So if Venus is the relating function and how you develop values and how you, you know, relate to people and have relationships, uh, if Mars is the will, desire, self-assertion, self-defense function, then Chiron is the sensitivity to energy function, the antenna. So you experience energy, you respond emotionally. I do deal with Chiron as far as wounding and healing goes, uh, and that first video explains a lot about it. I treat the wound that most people focus on being inadvertently uh, poisoned by an arrow and suffering until he figures out how to die. Like he can't die because he's immortal, and then he figures it out. Um, that's the second wound. The first wound is being rejected at birth. So that's where I start with my Chiron teaching. So sensitivity to energy. You will be hypersensitive to how others respond to you regarding your Chiron placement. In the fifth house, it's a house of shining, creativity, um, playfulness, spontaneity, goofing off, flirting. Chiron fifth says you're going to be hypersensitive to how others respond to you when you do those things. Playfulness, spontaneity, goofing off, telling a joke, having an opinion, engaging, like having a position, having an opinion. So um, you will make potentially mountains out of molehills when it comes to how others respond to you. If you say, this is what I have to say about this, or this is what I have to contribute, whatever it is, it could be fantastic. If somebody grumbles or if, if you're talking to 40 people and one person looks away, you're going to be like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said anything. Because a part of you fears rejection for expressing yourself. That's a fifth house Chiron idea. Now, this part of you is an inner infant. So when you were a baby, you felt rejected when you, when you made noise, when you did something unique when you danced, when you know whatever it is that babies do to, that might be playful to get attention, you might have felt rejected and, you, and that baby self in you, who's still with you and may take over at these times, may feel that if I do this thing, I'm not going to be loved and accepted. There's something wrong with me when I do this because when they react, remember you're hypersensitive to how others react to you. So that's being in the wounded phase. And then, of course, you know from your astrology studies that the wounded healer idea is that you can help other people with the same wound. Oh, but you can't help yourself. You can never heal yourself. I think that's baloney. I think wounded and wounded healer are false dichotomies. Uh, what's happening is you're dealing with an infant who comes up who doesn't know how to deal. So you are swept away or temporarily taken over by fears that the baby has of not being safe and supported and loved and validated. So your job is to hold space for yourself, to deal with that sensitivity, and to reckon, you always have to remember with Chiron in the fifth, you're hypersensitive to how others are gonna to respond to you. That's true for any Chiron placement. If you watch all these Chiron videos, you're gonna hear me say it over and over and over again, you're hypersensitive. So you're picking up on subtle energetic cues. And you, you know, I, I say this sometimes when I'm talking to people about Chiron issues, when Chiron in them is really activated. And I'm talking about what I, what I call the bad burrito syndrome, which is you say to somebody, hey, I have this great idea. And the person goes, you know, this person like, you know, makes some terrible noise. You're like, hey, let's go do this. And they're like, oh, I don't want to do. That person may have eaten something that didn't, that didn't agree with him or her. That person might be exhausted from a night, you know, a night out and not getting enough sleep. You will think it's about what you said. You're hypersensitive, especially with it in the fifth house regarding your spontaneous contributions.
Now, this idea of the fifth house also involves leaving a mark on the world, having a un unique perspective, and unique abilities, and making a difference in the world, leaving a personal signature. So part of your sense of being free to be a unique individual is wrapped up in this. So you must become the kind of parent you needed as a kid. They may have seemed to overshadow you with their own creativity or their own opinions or loudness. They may not have known how to compassionately hold space for you and help you develop a healthy sense of ego and sense of self. God bless everybody, they may not have been able to do that. They may have been dealing with their own issues about self-expression, so they may not have known what to do with yours. So make a list of what you wish your parents and family would have been for you and done for you when you were young regarding self-expression, regarding your opinions, your right to have a voice, to, be, to participate in the group dialogue, to shine, right? To take up space and to shine. Think of the Leo and the Sun archetype with this idea of shining and taking up space you have to decide you're valid. You have to decide your creativity is worth something. So you must become the source of love for yourself by dethroning your parents and other caregivers and owning that only you can validate yourself. So when you get to that place, then you're no longer stuck in wounded, wounded healer phase because you can accept, yes, I will always be hypersensitive to this, but it doesn't mean something's wrong when I speak up, if people react. Any reaction that you get, you may be afraid is going to be a rejection or a criticism, a judgment or a dismissal in some way. Like uh, you're like, oh, here is my, here's the thing I wrote. And somebody's like, that's terrible. That's no good. Well, your opinion is the only one that matters. So you must become the validator. Validator? Yeah, you must become self-validating. Recognizing you're always sensitive to how others do it, but recognizing your unique perspective is what might trigger their reactions. Wherever Chiron is in the birth chart, the person shows up as unique. So when a person gets over that fear of being rejected, you can embrace your own uniqueness and let other people react. You're actually introducing a new variable. You might bring heart into everything that you do in your fifth house. You might bring compassion and a vulnerability and a sensitivity. If you can be open and remain vulnerable, then you can bring your unique Chironic gifts and the unique resourcefulness that Chiron in the fifth house represents. For the full story on this, on your own Chiron, get the Chiron natal report, which covers house sign and aspect, as well as transits and progressions to your natal Chiron and transits of Chiron to the rest of your natal chart. And also the Chiron book, Chiron 2012 in the Aqu Aquarian Age, uh, the key and how to use it, and its original audio course, the Chiron audio course, uh, are important for this too. Stay tuned for more videos in this series and uh, take care of yourself.